www.pondscape.us. It's early August and 2009, yada yada. I'm actually about to head out somewhere, but I wanted to update the, the garden shots a bit on the side here. And one thing I keep forgetting to take, but not this time, is all the freaking morning glories that are open. How absolutely freaking pretty they look like this. And we've even got them growing down here. There's my bike. No, I'm saying that I'm about to go somewhere and all. But, uh, yeah, they're just, wow. all that purple it look really freaking awesome I mean of course we got our other flower colors in here I don't know what uh, these are called but they're like orange and yellow and red combination there huh oh wow we've actually got some pink morning glories check this out I didn't know we had any pink thought we just had purple I know I planted some blue ones uh, around, but the frickin' blues never seem to really want to come up for us. Oh, here's another street walker. Check this out. I think they're like on the frickin' country road or something. Here's our pumpkin right here. That's actually a pumpkin flower. I have no idea if that's actually going to grow any pumpkins or not. We've had tons of these flowers. And nothing is, uh, <laughs> no pumpkins have been resulted, so... I don't know. Flowers pretty, at least. And then, of course, we got, uh, several different types of, uh, marigolds over here. There's the red. And them freaking street walkers are gonna end up freaking roadkill one of these days if they're not careful. Chicago traffic is insane. But, eh, whatever. Not my problem. Alrighty. Here's our white flocks. That's always cool. And then some more pink. I have no idea what these are called. Um, no, this isn't quite as full of vines as it normally is, but that's all right. And we've got our yellow daisies starting to pop out, so that's pretty cool. Chinese lanterns. Those are neat. My dad hates them, though. <laughs> and here's our little garden. We're starting on the front here, and we got some pinks coming up. Doing pretty good for a relatively new garden. Now this over here is doing freaking phenomenal. Um, the uh, Johnny Jump Up flowers here. These things are still blooming. We got uh, marigolds popping out. Um, the, I keep forgetting the name of these. But they're supposed to attract finches. I don't know. I guess there need to be a lot of them for that to happen. Lots of other things are budding around here. And as I just caught a stick up in my sandal. <laughs> these pinks I don't know what they're called but they're very pretty oh and I guess this gets too much of a sun hit because these morning glories are closed already just like the ones in the yard only the ones on the side are open I guess because it's shadier well I guess I'll try to catch them around uh, this tree some other time okay well as we can see, everything's doing uh, really, really good. Uh, we got some of the uh, pink ones down over here. On the side here, this is filling out quite nicely. And because most of these are midsummer flower flowerers, and um, 
it's got more shady back here more of the time. We still got some blooming, but it's it's not like it it was in July. Um, in July, this was just like loaded to the hilt with freaking flowers. But um, I mean, it's still pretty. You still got your little uh, morning glories growing there, and those things are daisies. They're about to bud out, and we still got like marigolds and stuff. So I mean, you know, we got a little bit of Queen Anne's lace still flowering, and so on and so forth. So. And then that tallish thingy over there is going to be flowering. So yeah, I mean, you know, there, there's still a bit, and there's still a bit more to come, but the main flower explosion of it over there is pretty much gone for the season, as far as I know. But yep, it's looking pretty badass. Really cool. I'm liking it. Coming out really good so far. And, um... Yeah. Of course, um, this uh, flower area here is going to be to uh, replace the side garden over there because the uh, stupid uh, witch with a capital B lives on the first floor there. You know, she just uses that this uh, side garden here as uh, just yet another reason to stir shit. So I figure, um, you know, move out of there what I can. Um, leave the rest because like these people don't maintain their property anyway so it's like I'm gonna have my garden anyway it's just gonna be like on freaking autopilot because I'm not gonna maintain it nature's just gonna take over and it's gonna just like freaking dominate which is fine you know I got no problems with that <laughs> and yeah it's gonna like turn into like forest preserve number two over here so I mean whatever you know not my problem we're gonna build like a, a travelist fence thingy coming along our property line going down there and have you know vines and flowers and all sorts of cool stuff so you know it's still gonna look really dope and then on, on, the, on the corner over there you know on the corner of the street where I was just filming a, a moment ago um, you know I'm gonna move some stuff over there and you know across the other corner on Pete's side so it's it's it's, it's gonna look good it's it, it really it's so far so good and it's gonna keep looking better so you know, regardless of any changes or adaptations or things moving around. I mean, everything's ki looking kick-ass. It's going to continue to look even more kick-ass. So, www.pondscape.us.